Hi, this is Kim Clayman from steadyoptions.com. Welcome to our presentation. We're going to talk today about one of options grids, the delta. So what is delta? Options delta is the rate of change of the price of the option with respect to its underlying price. Delta of an option ranges in value from 1 to 0 for calls or minus 1 to 0 for puts and reflects the increase or decrease in the price of the option in response to one point movement of the underlying asset price. Far out of the money options have delta value close to zero and deep in the money option have deltas that are close to one. Call options have positive deltas between zero or one and some sites are actually uh, referring to this as uh, zero to hundred, which is the same thing. So. 0.50 delta will be same as the 50 delta or 50% and one delta will be same as the 100 delta or 100% delta. When the underlying stock increases in price, value of your call option will also increase by the call option delta value. So for example, if a, an option has value of one and the stock moves uh, by $1, uh, the call option will also increase in value by $1. If a call option has delta of uh, 0 0.5 and the stock moves by $1, the call option will increase in value by $0.50. When the underlying market price decreases, the value of your call option will also decrease by the amount of the delta. When the call option is deep in the money and has delta of 1, then the call will move point for point in the same direction as movements in the underlying asset. Put options basically behave exactly the opposite. They have negative deltas between minus 1 or 0. Again, it could be between the minus 100 and 0, exactly the same thing. When the underlying market price increases, the value of your put will decrease by the amount of the delta value. So exactly the opposite from the calls. And when the price of the underlying asset decreases, the value of the put option will increase by the amount of the delta value. So when you have puts, you want the market, uh, uh, the underlying asset to go down. And when you have the calls, you want it to go up. When the put option is deep in the money and has a delta of minus one, then the put will move point for point in the same direction as movements in the underlying asset. Delta sensitivity. So as a general rule, in the money options will move more than out of the money options and short term options will react more than long, longer term options to the same price change in the stock. As expiration nears, the delta for in the money calls will approach one and delta for out of the money calls will approach zero. And if you think about it, it makes a uh, perfect sense because at expiration, uh, uh, options could be either in the money or out of the money. Options that are in the money will have the delta of uh, one and options that are out of the money will have delta of zero. And exactly the same thing for the puts as expiration approaches the delta for in the money puts will approach minus one and delta for out of the money puts will approach zero. So delta can also be viewed as a percentage probability an option will wind up in the money at expiration. So at the money option would have a 50, uh, 0.50 delta or 50% chance of being in the money at expiration. Again, this makes perfect sense if you think about it, because options that are at the money, basically if the stock is, for example, at the $50, it has 50% chance to be above $50 and 50% chance to be below $50 at expiration. Again, this is, uh, of course, theoretical. Uh, practically, there are a lot of uh, other uh, parameters involved, but theoretically it's a 50-50 chance. 
So delta of far out of the money option is a good indication of its likelihood of having value of expiration. An option with less than a 0, 10 delta is not very likely to be in the money. So what many traders do is uh, selling far out of the money options and uh, this getting probability of success of 90% uh, of more. This is it mean, this means 90% uh, chance that uh, the options will expire worthless. The sum of absolute values of delta of a call and put with the same strike is one. You can be sure that one of them will, will expire in the money and the other will expire out of the money. Just for clarification, delta and probability of expiring in the money are not the same thing. Delta is usually a close enough approximation to the probability. So not the same thing, but pretty close. Example, if a delta of particular call option is 0 0.55 or 55%, then all other things being equal, the price of option will rise 55 cents for every dollar rise in the price of underlying security. For every dollar decline in the price of underlying, the option will lose 55 cents. The puts behave exactly the opposite. If the delta of the put is 0 0.45, then all other things being equal, the price of option will rise 55 cents for every dollar fall in the price of underlying security. As with call options, well, the opposite scenario is also true. Now, word of caution, it is important to remember that delta is constantly changing during market hours and will typically not accurately predict the exact change in an options premium. And this is especially true for options that are close to expiration. As the stock moves, the delta will move, will change as well. So if the delta is 50 and stock moves uh, up, the delta will increase, stock moves down, the delta will decrease. So a list of delta positive strategies include long call, short put, call debit spread, put credit spread, covered call right. And list of delta negative strategies include long put, short call, put debit spread, call credit spread, covered put right. A list of uh, delta neutral strategies include iron condor, butterfly, short strangle, short strangle, which are naked strategies, long straddle, long strangle, and long calendar spreads. Those are the most uh, popular uh, delta neutral strategies that we are using at the uh, steady options. Summary, positions with positive delta increase in value if the underlying goes up. Position with negative delta increase in value if the underlying goes down. An option contract with a delta of 0 0.50 is theoretically equal, equivalent to holding 50 shares of stock. 100 shares of stock is theoretically equivalent to an option contract with 1.00 delta. Again, this is theoretical because the uh, things change and uh, as stocks uh, go down or up, deltas will uh, change as well. All right, let's see some examples. Let's take uh, Apple as an example. Apple stock price is 118. And let's see what happens when we buy a call option with delta of 100 or 1. So the stock, the stock right, right now is at exactly 118. And if the stock goes up two points to 120, that means $200 gain. So remember, one contract is uh, 100 shares. So two point or two dollars gain is equal to $200 gains. And this is exactly what we see as gain at the call option. Now let's see what happens if we, we buy at the money call. So at the money call will be 118 call. 
118 co will have delta of approximately 50. So what happens again if uh, the stock goes up uh, to 120? Our gain will be $117, which is approximately half of uh, $120. Now, why is it slightly higher? Because as I mentioned, uh, when the stock goes up, the delta of uh, those calls will also uh, go up. So with stock at uh, 120, as you can see, the delta right now is already 64. So delta is constantly changing, and this is something that is important to remember. When we start with delta of 50 and the stock goes up, the delta will go up as well. So as at the beginning of the move, we will get exactly 50% move of the stock move. But as the stock continues higher, the increase in the delta will cause uh, the call options will go up in value more than 50% because uh, the delta is increasing as well. Now let's see what happens if we buy a straddle, which is options uh, neutral strategy. So we are buying calls with delta of 51 and we are buying puts with delta of uh, minus uh, 49 and remember what I mentioned that uh, deltas of uh, the same strike calls and puts if you are taking uh, the values of uh, those options the sum absolute sum of those values will be exactly one or 100 in this case so 51 plus 48 will be exactly 100 and the delta of uh, the combined position is 2, which is basically very close to delta neutral. Now let's see how sensitive this, uh, the move is uh, depending on expiration. So let's see where bank call, which is at the money. 118 strike and expiration uh, going out 21 days. So if we, the stock goes to, let's say, 121, the delta will become 71 and our gain will be around $200. Now, if we buy the same call, which is at the money, but with closer expiration, expiration only one week out, and the stock goes to 121, then our gain becomes much larger. It will be $220, and the delta will become 84. And again, if you think about it, it makes perfect sense because uh, we are now much closer to expiration. So if the stock uh, goes up, this uh, option has much higher probability to be in the money than uh, if, if we go with a more distant uh, expiration. All right, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Have a good day.